hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is Darren, and today i'll be showing you how to make brown flaxseed cheesy biscuits this recipe is so easy to make and it's so straightforward but before we go into details about this recipe if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video please don't forget to click on that subscribe button which is that button you're seeing on your screen right now and also on the bell side so you get notified Let's get into the list of ingredients. So for this recipe, we're gonna be using flour and then we're gonna be adding into the flour salt to taste as well as um, the baking powder. Next, I'm going to be adding in my homemade yogurt. I made this in my house using my instant pot. If you want to learn how to make this, please click on that link you're seeing um, on the right side of the screen to learn how to make your own homemade yogurt. So add in your yogurt into the flour mixture and um, just use um, a spatula to mix everything together. Next, I'm going to just transfer this on a clean surface and I'm just going to try to work it a little bit. Nothing serious, just um, to allow all the flour and the yogurt to mix properly together. So don't overwork it, just a little bit of turning and twisting to incorporate all the ingredients together. So it should look like this and uh, you can use the oil on your palm to avoid the dough from sticking on your palm if, if you find it that it's too sticky. Next I'm going to be adding in my brown flax into the dough and I'm also going to be adding in cheese. So I'm using two different types of cheese. I'm using the jalapeno one and I'm using the mozzarella cheese. So I'm just going to mix all this together also and uh, just mix it to allow the cheese and the flax um, to incorporate into the dough. So I'm going to use my palm to just press this down and I'll be sectioning this off into five portions, equal portions, um, to form the biscuits. I'm using my two hands to shape this each portion out into like a biscuit form uh, or a bread like um, bun form.
so i'm all done i'm just going to be transferring this on my baking tray which i've lined with parchment paper and i'm just going to um sprinkle a little bit of um, flax seed on top of each each of the biscuit dough and then i'm going to be egg washing it So this is ready to be popped into the oven. I'm going to bake this at 375 degrees um, Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. So at the end of the 25 minutes, this is what my biscuit looks like. You can see that um, so inviting with the brown flax on the surface of the biscuit and if you open it up you're gonna see the cheese you can actually see the cheese on the surface also but if you want it to be more cheesy please feel free to add lots of cheese into your own recipe so I'm just gonna transfer this onto my serving tray and I'm ready to dig into this So guys, this is what the finished look of my biscuit looks like. You can see my flaxseed on the surface and all over the biscuit. I'm going to open this up for you so you can see what the inside looks like. Um, you can see a little, little bit of cheese streaks and uh, that's because I didn't put a lot of cheese. But if you want to put more cheese, feel free to do that. And you can see my brown flaxseed all over the bread. I'm just going to dip this into my sauce and it's so delicious guys. Better served hot for sure. And the flaxseed is, that I've actually put in the bread is very nutritious. It's good in omega-3 and which is very great as an antioxidant for your body that helps to fight cancer cells. So you guys should try this and you won't regret it. Very, very easy to make. Less than, less than 40 minutes, you have your biscuit ready and you can serve this either as an appetizer with soup or you can actually eat it for breakfast and serve it with any side or dips of your choice. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you love it. And please don't forget to share as much as you can. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Darius Corner. Thank you so much. And I hope uh, you really enjoyed this video and you've learned one or two things please leave me a comment and, and I will be sure to respond back to you. Thank you so much and have a great Mother's Day for everyone that is celebrating Mother's Day. Bon appétit.